The Vietnam War defined a generation. It changed the lives of people who fought in it, those who fought against it, and the families of both. My name is Jim Nelson. I live in Bismarck, and I was a Petty Officer Second Class aboard the USS James E. Kyes. My total service was 67 to 71, but my Vietnam was 69 to 70. When we first pulled into Vietnam and we got close to it, it was hard to believe there was a war there. It, it, it was beautiful. It was kind of reminded you of Hawaii, pulling into Hawaii. But then when you got up the river, and that's when the war came home to us on the ship, because uh, the rest of the time we were well off the coast just doing gunfire support. I remember when I come home, I met a Marine on the airplane. And when we got to Denver, he offered to buy me a drink because we were both waiting for connections to the next place. And on our way to the lounge, this long-haired hippie type walked past and called us both baby killers and spit on us. And I didn't experience that before, that because I thought serving in the military was, was an honor and I found out that there was a lot of people that didn't like it because while we were over there, we never really heard the news of what was going on back home. It's only when we come home on leave that we realize that there was protesting and and all this other stuff going on. We were, we were pretty immune to that over there. They uh, only told us what they wanted to tell us, I guess. As time went on, I come to realize that what I was doing benefited him, gave him the right to do what he did. Our country was in a change. And I think in some respects for the better, we treat our soldiers much better than I was treated when I come home. There was no parade, there was no uh, welcome homes, there, there was no nothing. Uh, you snuck home and you didn't talk. I, I spent years without ever saying I was in the Navy. The only people that knew I was in my Navy was my family and friends. 